Hello, good people. Welcome back to Collectibles and Comments. This is Mel. I'm your host. And I talk about many of the things that I've collected and tell you some of the stories behind them and encourage you to give me your comments about some of the things if you have a connection to them, to them too. Today I thought it would be nice to talk about the granddaddy of the collectibles, the Aurora Monster Models. I built them up as a kid back in the 60s and when they reissued them in 1999 I was thrilled to death to be able to paint them again with uh, real paints and not the little tester enamels that we had as a kid. So let's get to it. I'm going to share with you my Aurora Universal Monster Models. Okay, so here we go. These are my Aurora Monster Models. Actually, these were done by uh, Polar Lights in um, 1999. These were the reissues. They redid the long boxes. I can't tell you how thrilled I was. Uh, I saved the boxes this time as I was a kid. Everything used to get tossed out that was under the Christmas tree uh, New Year's, and I'm sure the originals were were tossed out we kept the models but I kept the boxes this is Frankenstein and I even kept the instructions this time so they're still in here and this is what it looks like let's see with how you put it together So again, love these boxes, but this is my painted version of Frankenstein. Hope you can see that. Uh, didn't paint the back of it. Let's see the other side. There he is. Of course, this is Dracula. Here's the box art. This one I had a lot of fun doing as an adult because when we were kids, you'd put it together and then you couldn't get in here with the brush and we just painted what you could see. Um, I actually put, I don't know if you can see that, I actually put fangs on my Dracula when I painted him. So that was fun. But this had a lot of stuff in it. It had uh, the little bats on the tree and everything. So there's Dracula. Let's take a look at the, the Wolfman. Here's his box. The Wolfman. This one was actually done by my daughter. She was about eight or so, and I was trying to get her turned on by model building. And so she she did most of the painting on this one. I think I probably worked on the face a little bit. But most of this she, she did when she was about eight. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at the uh, creature over here. Here's the creature box saw. The art on this stuff is incredible. My creature was interesting in that, you know, the original sculpt gave him fangs and I filed the fangs out. I don't remember the creature having fangs so I took them out of mine. Mine's actually had a flaw. Um, the little snake has lost his tongue. The big one still has his tongue though so he still has his. But when actually I put this together there was a piece missing. The dorsal fin on this side wasn't in the box unfortunately so but anyway that's okay. And of course the last one over here is the mummy. 
This is the box. The box. The mummy was actually my least favorite as a kid to build up. I remember having this one as a kid and not knowing what to do with these little tattered rags and just discarding them as a kid and just painting around it. But uh, here's my mummy. And I'll turn them around for you so you can see how he looks. Okay, then there are a couple of more that I got as gifts that weren't part of this Aurora reissue. Let me get you those real quick. Hold on. Okay, these last two are my Phantom of the Opera and my Hunchback of Notre Dame. These are not, uh, didn't come in the long boxes like the others. These were actually gifts from my wife, uh, Christmas gifts, and so I had a good deal of fun putting them together. This one is a real favorite to have done as an adult. When I did this one as a kid, I couldn't figure out how to do the little guy in the back there who's uh, the little prisoner. I think we just kind of tossed him out and discarded him. But this one was really fun. Uh, didn't glue the mask down. It actually fits on his face. Um, if you'll notice, I put the little cloth there, the little piece. My favorite movie, one of my favorites, is the silent Lon Chaney Phantom of the Opera. And here you can see that, the little cloth. And so I wanted the mask to look a little bit more like the original one that Lon Chaney wore. And his had a little cloth piece that kind of sat over the mouth when he wore it. And so that was why I did the mask that way. That's actually a piece of tissue or something like that. But... This is my Phantom of the Opera. And I'll turn that around so you can see the back of it. Okay. And I don't think I showed you the box. This is the monogram box that it came in. I think my wife may have even gotten this on eBay. I'm not sure. And of course, this is the hunchback, and this is the box. All right, and this is my pink job on the hunchback. I used this label here, it actually came with two. And so, of course he's got the scars on the back okay all right so these are my universal monster models I hope you enjoyed seeing them getting these was a great deal of fun. It was fun building them back up. It's been fun sharing them with you and sharing the memories. I think life is all about having positive memories and creating positive memories. And I hope you get out there and create some positive memories of your own. This has been Mel. This has been Collectibles and Comments. Thank you for watching and have a great time and enjoy. Bye-bye.